I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. I just got out of Steve Jobs' 2008 Macworld keynote. We barely got in. I think we were like five minutes and we were stressing. We were running all over the place. And they took away our cameras, so I'm quite bummed about that. And cover it live as well as geekbrief.tv crashed completely. So here's an update for you. Geek Brief at Macworld. Crowd pleaser they announced today was it's true, the rumor is true, the MacBook Air. It is the world's thinnest notebook and it includes multi touch. How cool is that? So it's the world's thinnest notebook, it's three pounds, and everything that you can do, well, not maybe not everything, but uh, things that you can do on the iPhone, so zooming in and out of pictures, flicking through pictures, you can now do with the MacBook Air. It has a full keyboard and a backlit keyboard. It's a 13.3 inch screen. It's going to sell for $17.99 with an 80 gigabyte drive. And here's a cool thing, you can get a solid state drive. And that's going to be quite a bit more expensive probably, but that's going to be 64 gigabytes. It has five hours of battery life, impressive, and uh, two gigabytes of RAM. Another Another thing they announced was that the MacBook Air does not have an optical drive. Now it can wirelessly install software. How cool is that? And the other thing that you typically do with a, an optical drive, a DVD drive, is watch movies, right? So here comes their new announcement rentals in iTunes. So now you can rent movies in iTunes and these are going to be for their library they call or their older releases. Those are going to be $2.99 and new releases are $3.99 so that's less expensive than Blockbuster and HD is going to be a dollar more. They have participation from every major mo motion picture company and so that is quite an achievement. Uh, everybody was wondering if they were going to be able to do that. <laughs> They're going to have a thousand movies in the library by the end of February and you can watch things instantly pretty much instantly within 30 seconds you can start watching a movie once you've rented it you have 30 days to watch it and once you start 24 hours now they are upgrading or updating the Apple TV. They are calling it Apple TV Take Two. Steve Jobs said himself that we've all tried, Microsoft, Apple, Voodoo, Amazon, we've all tried to get movies onto the TV, but none of us have succeeded. So we've got Take Two, <laughs> and this does not require a computer. That's the brilliant thing about it. You, don't, you can sync it up to your computer if you want, but you don't have to have a computer. So you can watch podcasts, you can rent those movies, and watch them directly on your TV without a computer. Another thing they announced, which we all knew was coming, the iPhone 1.1.3 update is real. We saw it last Thursday, I believe it was, at CES or Wednesday, and Steve Jobs announced it today. So everything that you saw with the wigglies, <laughs> so you hold your, your finger down on an icon and wait till everything starts to wiggle, you can customize your home page, you can create new home pages, and you can create bookmarks on the home page from Safari. And one cool thing he showed was if you want to zoom in on a particular uh, bookmark, so say you only really like to pay attention to one area of the screen, you can create that zoomed in bookmark. The other thing is Time Capsule. This is a companion product for Time Machine. It's backup wirelessly. So, you know, everybody hates those cables. You hate having something attached via USB. Now you can backup everything wirelessly. 500 gigabyte is going to be $299 and a terabyte for $499. Wow. Now I'm off to the Jovo booth to introduce Share. There will be more later today. Bye. Geek free, fast credits.